What is going on everybody? Phoenix Gaming here. Thank you for stopping by and today we are going to be going over the Circe League that was released after the maintenance in the Division 2. So if that sounds good, let's go ahead and get started. So now with the Circe League that was released, we have Wall Street on hard, Stranded Tanker on hard, the Tombs on hard, and then for your challenging mission, you're going to have Pathway Park. Now all of these are very simple to do. They're very easy. You can go ahead and watch the playthrough here on how to do the Pathway Park if you have any trouble with it. Um, again, you know, this is only on hard and challenging. The missions are very simple to get through. Uh, but if you do have struggles or you do have an issue with running these missions, by all means, we're going to go over a build that I used in order to complete them all in a timely manner. And then for your last two challenges with the Circe League, we are going to have Riker Elites Eliminated and then the Cleaner Elites Eliminated. Now, both of these challenges themselves are actually only 250 hostiles. So aside from like the last couple of weeks we've had where we've had to get at least 500 different kills this is only 250 so this kind of alleviates that issue and alleviates the grind uh easy enough to actually complete the league in a day or so so for the reward milestones uh the first one you're gonna get is a sorceress arm patch and then on tier two you're gonna get a gear crafting cash weapon crafting cash your season cash and then your optimization cash at tier five Next, for tier 6, you're going to get your named item cache. Again, tier 7, season cache, optimization cache, exotic cache at tier 9, and then you're going to get a golden liar at, as your backpack trophy for tier 10. So now with the rewards out of the way, you know, let's go over quickly about what this league entails and what it's all about. So the setting for this is all going to be in New York. So you're going to be spending most of your time for the league in New York City, uh, going about the missions and then going through the control points, which we'll go into a little further here in just a moment. But with this league, it's definitely different from the previous leagues that we've had because a lot of the other leagues have been very uh, specific regarding their challenges and uh, their missions and what it is that you have to do. Like I said, again, uh, the last two challenges for the league itself are just their they're not hard, they're just time consuming, and you can get them done very easily, about an hour a piece apart, how how efficient you think you can run it in. Um, for myself, this took at least about four hours. I took times of breaks in between there, but again, it was very simple to do and very easy to do. Um, hopefully in the later year, you know, this year, next year, they'll kind of revamp these leagues. I would really like to see the leagues actually come back and be a little more challenging than they are now um the challenge is not so much because the challenges are just that they're challenges but the missions themselves you know they're just they're almost to the point of being pointless but again if you're a completionist if you want to get the backpack trophy and the arm patches or just have something fun to do um you know th this is gonna be right up your alley so with that um, as you can see from the gameplay footage, you'll notice that I'm using a specific build. Now, I'm not going to show this build because I kind of want to make a separate video on the, on the build that I'm running. This has the Achilles Pulse, using Mantis, and then using the Decoy. But if you want to see this build that I'm currently running in the gameplay footage, then definitely let me know in the comment section below. I'll go ahead, get that ready, post it up uh, for, you know, for anyone that is actually very interested in seeing how the Achilles Pulse works after doing the manhunt. But going into builds, I will show you a specific uh, DPS pistol build that I used in order to complete pretty much the rest of the uh, the league itself. Uh, but I will come in very handy specifically for the control points and we'll go into that now. All right, so now that we went over the rewards, the missions, uh, the build that you guys, if you wanna see it, um, and everything else in between, let's go over how to do the final two challenges, which are the uh, Elite, Cleaner, and Riker Eliminations. So with this, as you can see, I'm running Widow's Web at Control Point 4 in New York, and this is going to be the best way that you're going to be able to complete this challenge. Now, this is the best because uh, your nearest safe house is Trinity Church. This will allow you to you know, eliminate the first wave, eliminate the boss, and then go into the second wave, eliminating only the boss in the second wave, and then fast traveling back to that safe house. Should the control point reset, meaning should it just have a white flag and there are no friendly NPCs there to help you, this will allow you to have maybe about a 200 to 300 meter run from the safe house 
to the control point itself. This will allow you to go back into the uh, the control point, fire the flare, uh, proc the uh, elite Rikers, and then go by your business, eliminating them as fast as you can. With this, uh, specifically with this control point, they come out of three different places. So you just want to be mindful on where these uh, doors are. There's one behind the main building in front of the control point, and then there's two on the sides or one on the side and then one up in the alleyway that you come down from Trinity Church itself. So now that we went over where to eliminate the Rikers easily, we'll go over how to effectively and efficiently eliminate the cleaners. Now with the cleaners, you're gonna to wanna to use the control point at Brooklyn Bridge. This will allow you to be at near the safe house, which is about 200 meters away, should the control point again um, lose the allies in the progress when you're doing this event. This will allow you to just pop over to the, to the uh, safe house, run back over to Brooklyn Bridge, pop your flare, and then resume eliminating the elites. Now, for everything in between, um, with eliminating the Rikers and the elites, there's, there's nothing really special. There's no headshots. There's no fire damage. There's no status effects. There's nothing like that. It is just complete elimination, unlike it was the previous leagues before. So, again, this should be very easy. It should be done quite um, fast, quite efficiently. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and go over the build used. And the build is running the Sharpshooter Specialization. You have an M1A with Boomerang in the uh, primary slot. For Monster, does does with Fast Hands. And then for me, I'm using the Regulus. You don't have to use the Regulus. You can use any pistol that you really want to. Liberty is the second best choice and does just enough damage, uh, just as much as the Regulus. Uh, you know, it's second best uh, with exotic pistols. Um, but you can use anything that you really want to. For the mask, we're using the Douglas and Harding Punch Drunk Mask uh, with the 20% headshot damage. We got the Providence Chest Piece with Headhunter, Walker and Harris Holster, Fox's Prayer Knee Pads, Grupo Summer Gloves, and then a Providence Backpack with Vigilance. Um, if you want a further detailed layout of this build, I'll go ahead and link the DPS build video I made a while back in the comment section below so definitely check that out if you still want a better understanding of how this build works so that you can use it in your um challenges for this league but other than that guys that is the uh league in a nutshell very simple to do very easier than the previous leagues that we've had before and again uh thank you so much for the support on the channel we are growing we're almost approaching 2,000 subscribers which is awesome um you know and the Division 2 was built completely around this channel, but, you know, that's not to say more stuff is going to be covered in the meantime. But again, guys, thank you so much. Definitely uh, to further your support, you can go ahead, like, share, and subscribe to this video. You can also follow me down on Twitter. My handle is down there in the bottom left-hand corner. I really hope you get your league done. We have a lot of stuff in the future going on ahead. And again, guys... Thank you so much for the support. I really hope you enjoy the league this time around, and I will catch you around in the next video. Take care.